I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. What is that? Can't go any further. I sense a great presence within this tomb. Master, it calls to you. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. The Jedi Council is wise, but can make mistakes. History has proven this 
time and time again, the Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic Army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? You should trust in yourself and in your instincts. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Yes, that's right. Without us, the Republic would have been no more, and the Council... Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action, and that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest. So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. The first lesson will be carved in your flesh. Pain is the ultimate teacher, and the lesson begins now.
Intercom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. But we won't help by throwing our lives away to storm the path. Too many Mandalorians, too few of us. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses. I'll tell the men, General. Everyone, you heard the General. Charge! Charge! <laughs>
You are to be commended for making it this far. You've revisited the dark moments of your past and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? You, of all people, would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption? So you will do nothing? Apathy is death. Worse than death, because at least a rotting corpse feeds the beasts and insects. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. to be commended for making it this far. You've re You're Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten No. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of your threat. Think again, Kreia. You're dark. 
you. I will be honest with you. I have fallen to the dark side. The dangers you face in this tomb were real, but these images of the past serve to prepare you for your future. Surely you have felt what awaits. Events are shaping themselves about you, seeking to draw you into their center. Take care not to give in to vanity and arrogance. This breeds complacency and stagnation, as exhibited by the Jedi Council. Their prolonged inaction led inevitably to their downfall. The galaxy will bend itself only to those of strength and conviction. You may not yet understand what you learned here. That wisdom will come in the future. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb.
something up? All right, what did you want to know? here you felt it did you not the time to hide your presence is coming to a close and you will need to increase your training you are ready your training must increase and there are higher mysteries you must learn but only you must know the path you will take I cannot choose it for you is it battle that stirs you to meet an enemy blade upon blade such is the way of the greatest of the Sith marauders who seek strength in war and their rage or is it the ways of darkness and shadow that you seek? The power that comes from striking unseen and sensing weaknesses in others? The ways of the assassins of the Sith? Or perhaps your way lies with the Sith and the heart of their darkness? To recognize what strength is and bring that strength to those that follow you and those that defy you, the way of a Sith Lord... It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest.
You have befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your intentions, it would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. We have no time for mercy. Is that so? Well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm, so you may test such a statement. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Then you are learning. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Ask. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear. For in fear lies death and... You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Yes. Very well. When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. They neglect their skills. Some believe they no longer need them. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more physical realities of the universe. Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build, from simple moisture vaporators to more complex machines such as droids and vehicles. One's ability to understand the human body and its ailments, for example, can make your powers within the Force more complete, more powerful, when you attempt to repair the cellular damage of another. And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion. Do not doubt that a galaxy may be conquered with words, 
a republic overthrown and an empire made, when such skills are honed, one's abilities with the force become that much stronger. My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your companions to compensate for your weaknesses in skill. There will be times they will not be there to help you when needed. What skill would you say is your greatest strength? And what skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest weakness, devote effort to it, strengthen it, and I will show you how it shall strengthen your power in the Force. As you learn and train and test yourself when you devote some of that training to your weakest skill, ask. And Ah, without a home, another exile. Her people are not prone to violence, war, or hatred, yet their planet is obliterated, scoured from the face of the galaxy, and all that remains is a Sith. You are right to trust your instincts. Something is. If your instincts lead... I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. I understand now. My life for your... I am prepared... I understand... My life... I... It is not something I... That sight may manifest itself in me. My sight has been damaged. My mouth, it is not something I can explain. Something up? <laughs> 